Welcome travelers, I'm free to play and I'm your guide for a successful free to play adventure in Osterra. I pulled Chloe and even 5 starred her. Do you want to know why? I present you her full kit which is amazingly versatile. But let's start from the beginning. The stunning arrow moderately paralyzes a single foe. She can attack all enemies with wind 2 times. She's the first hunter being able to heal and she heals the full front row to back up for that. She hits one enemy 3 times in a row and hits all foes 2 times and also increases the physical defense of the front row by 10%. Chloe is the second character now, besides Cardona, who can lure attacks on another team member, so you can do the evade strat with Chloe now too. Solid Rain hits every enemy 3 times and gives the full front row 10% physical attack up. And here are her class up skills. Soaring Feathers hits 4 times with Wind and allows bow resistance each time by 15% for 2 rounds. So it's the updated rending arrows from Scarecrow. And here comes what Scarecrow lacks, a nuke with 260 potency and if that's not enough, she heals the full front row afterwards. Her ultimate heals the front row with even greater potency and buffs the whole front row with 10% physical attack, physical defense and lightning resistance at level 10 even at 20 which makes Pia useless from now on. Her passives increases the bow attack of the front row by 10% and the duration of her buffs are increased by one turn. Her A4 accessory isn't that great, so having her at A2 is enough to use her full kit without relying on only one strat with her. She's the hunter that was missing for Hunter EX5 lately and she can be used in so much different ways that everyone should have her in their roster. That's my opinion, so feel free to argue in the comments or in my newest Discord group. And if you'd like this channel to class up, I really appreciate a subscription and thumbs up. See you next time, you're free to play her.